How's it going everybody? My name is Miles and this is the Make With Miles channel. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how I made this awesome four color lino print. Let's go. I started out by making my design in Illustrator and then I printed out the main outline which was going to be my first layer. I cut it to size and taped it to my lino block. And then I used some acetone to transfer the image. Since the lines from the transfer weren't very crisp, I went over it with a pen. I used a lino cutting tool which has multiple blades that are different sizes. I cut around the outline of my design and cleared out all the material around it. I was then able to come back and carve out the details. It was about now when I realized that the words were not facing the right way, so I just redrew them with a pen. If you have words in your print, you always want to carve them backwards so that when you do your printing, they show up correctly. The first layer was now complete, so on to the next one. I started the second layer by inking up the first block and printing it on a piece of paper. I used a square to make sure I could line up the second block, which I then laid on top of the print. This transferred the ink to the new block. Using this method makes sure that the layers line up when I do the printing. This layer is the background color for the hand, so I just carved out everything except the shape of the hand. I repeated the ink transferring process for the third layer. This layer is the background color of the power cord. During the carving process, you want to make sure that you're not cutting towards your hand because the tool can slip and stab you. I've learned from experience. I started the final layer by using the ink transferring method, but this time using both the hand background and the outline. This layer is going to be the shadow on the hand. I used a red sharpie to draw in the shadows and then I got started carving. The lino blocks were now complete, but before I could start printing, I had to cut down some paper. I had a large sheet of some heavy printmaking paper, so I used a paper cutter to cut it down. I cut the pieces a bit oversized, so if they got smudged when I was printing, I could just cut them down. I brought in a simple jig as well as a plate of glass. The jig allows me to slide the lino blocks into the corner so they're lined up every time. It also has a corner above, which I can slide the paper up against. I attached another piece of wood to the jig to ensure the block wouldn't shift around when I was printing. It was now time to start printing. For the first color, I mixed four colors of block printing ink together to create a skin tone. I then used a brayer to roll the ink onto my glass plate, 
It's really important to get a thin and even coat on the glass plate. I rolled some ink onto the lino block and put it into the jig. I was then able to place a piece of paper over the inked block. I then pressed the paper with a baron, which is a type of burnisher for printmaking. This makes sure that the ink transfers onto the paper evenly. Once the first color run had dried sufficiently, I mixed the same four colors to create a darker tan for the shadows. I let those dry and started mixing the next color. For the power cord, I mixed some white, blue, and black to create a grayish blue color. It was now time for the final outlines of black, which would tie the whole design together. Overall, I'm super happy with how these prints turned out, and if you want one for yourself, head over to my Etsy store, there's a link in the description. I also have some of these posters for sale with the same design. They're full five color risograph prints, and they're 11 by 17. As I mentioned before, there's a link in the description. By purchasing something off of my Etsy store, you're helping me grow my channel and be able to buy materials for my next projects. If you like this video, go check out some of my others. And if you want to see more of what I'm up to, hit the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.